Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we are doing a 1.9 review, the ultimate survival guide on how to survive, how to play, how to get stuff in 1.9. So this is basically going to be how to get all the stuff that is new. This is the adventure update guys. There is one structure that I'm not going to be able to provide today, which is the igloo. Which you could probably find a um, another guide on what those offer, but they basically, there's an igloo, they will spawn in the um, snow plains and anything really snowy. And sometimes if they're large, if you break the carpet that is on their floor, you might find a room with a villager and a zombie villager. So you will get two villagers, you could breed up, maybe get an IG farm going, a villager trade center, all of that jazz. But yeah, we're just gonna hop right into this. So to start off, we're gonna show you how to get these arrows. So basically you're gonna have your normal arrows, I mean, same old, same old. And you're gonna have your bow. So first off, you are going to want to hit F to get into your other hand. So you see this, I can shoot with this hand. I can't, I don't, I, actually we want the other way around. We want, if you hit F, that's how you do it. So we're doing, we're gonna shoot that pig. And we can hit after. They did um, nerf it so you cannot um, kind of like do two at the same time. Kind of like that dual wielding mod. I'm not too sure on that. But basically, then you're gonna go into these. You're gonna have, ooh, we didn't wanna do that. Um, then you're gonna get into these lingering potions. So basically, you're gonna get these by putting a splash potion into a um, brewing stand, which actually is different, by the way, I forgot to add, and there's dragon's breath. I don't think there's a use for that yet. I'm not too sure, don't save me on that at all. I'm not sure on that. But basically, in the craft, uh, in the brewing stand, now you have to add blaze power to fuel up your furnace. I think one blaze rod does get you like 30 brews, which is a good deal, I think. It's just a little bit adding. But basically, you can throw this down, and any mob in that area will get it. Obviously, you can see I have it up there. Or I can go to my inventory. I don't know. I don't, um, oh, there it is. So, 40 seconds. Obviously, it's not too overpowered for reasons because you know how it works like every time you make it more splash it kind of does less helpfulness instead of drinking it but basically that's how you get those so i'll show you how to craft some fire resistance but basically you'll put your layering potion in the center and you will put all eight arrows around it and you will get eight of those arrows and basically what these arrows will do, so... And by the way, how to use your item in the, um... In your dual hand is, um, left trigger to use your bow and stuff. You can put a pickaxe in there and torches and stuff, but you cannot put a sword, I'm not- I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Let's put a... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I'm not sure on that. I don't know how to use a sword in that hand, but... It's really useful for bows. And as you can see, there is a dragon set. I'll get into that after. So now we are getting on to the spectral arrows. They sound awesome. So we are gonna have to get into game mode for this. We're gonna get ourselves a zomp, uh, no, a pig. And we are gonna throw some pigs down here. Oh, no, it is a little bit glitchy but this is not a snapshot it is the game so obviously they can add um like point one and stuff like that but we're gonna go to game mode one as you can see my chat log it was not good so we are going to get rid of our this arrow and we are going to hit that guy and basically spectral arrows for a limited time outline that mob so you can kind of like oh there he is there he is we gotta get him we gotta get him and you can, it's like tagging them for a few seconds and basically you can know where they are the arrow does disappear once you shoot it and that is, goes same for the regular ones 
Actually, wait a second, does it? Oh my god, they don't! Okay, um... I know the potions get turned back into regular arrows, only evidently spectral arrows are special. And they are crafted with glowstone, four glowstone, around arrows. And they actually give you two. Which is a really good deal, like, really? Glowstone, nether? This, these are cheaper than anything I know. Which, I don't know if they meant to, or if they're going to change that. Only, now, moving on, we are going to get on to these. So, basically, these you will find after you kill another dragon. Um, no, not the nether dragon. The ender dragon. You will find a portal lit up. You'll ender pearl into it, and that also concludes to a change. Now, ender pearls have a cooldown, which was a big advantage before, and now they did remove it, which I think is okay, because really, it was really overpowered to like spam your ender pearls. Obviously, I'm trying as hard as I can, and I'm just, I'm shooting my bow. <laughs> um, oh, we got uh, endermite. Also, endermites are more commonly found in the snap, not snapshot. Oh my god. Um, and you can also turn off your, what you're holding in your other hand by just clicking F on an empty slot. And you can access this also in here. They do not have quivers, sadly. I was really hoping for a quiver, but obviously they do not. I'm not sure if they will add that or not. Maybe in, um, 2.0. That will be an interesting update. <laughs> I'm sure they'll let, th that will probably be like a building update, maybe um, more structures and stuff like that. But basically, moving on, we're going to get rid of some of this stuff. We are going to keep the arrows, actually. But we are moving on to here. So basically, to get to the end, you will obviously get your nice portal. Now, there is a easy, there's a great thing added. There are 128 end structures basically those um those are you what should we call them um uh, those stone brick stuff um okay i forgot that name all of a sudden basically the place where they have the ender por portal those places oh my god i forgot um but yeah those places, there's 128 of them. There used to be three in the world. Now there's 128. So you'll have no problem finding one of those. And once you go there, you will obviously kill the dragon. And once you go into one of those, you will find tons of these. So basically, these serve two purposes. Basically, you will want to get these flowers. These, the well, the thing that I just broke. These coarse flowers, you can plant. And they will... Um, here, let's do th uh, this. This will grow up in your world as long as it's end on end zone, that will work. And you will mine the bottom part, and basically, it will chop it all down, and you will get these coarse fruit. I should have gotten more. <laughs> okay, so we got a few of those, and basically, what you'll do once you have all those is two things. Once you get the coarse fruit, you'll smelt them up and you'll get popped coarse fruit. And basically, you'll put these in a four x four grid if you wish to, and make some awesome purple -pur blocks. And basically, it's self-explanatory. You can get slabs with these. Ooh, I didn't want to do that either. <laughs> you can get um, stairs, and I'm pretty sure there are a chiseled. I'm not sure how to get the chiseled, guys. I'm sorry about that. But basically there are these. I think you can only get them from the end ship, maybe? Not too sure on that. But there is an end ship that has a 1 out of 5 chance spawning in every end dungeon. I'll show you guys hopefully some of that in the later parts of the video. So basically once you have killed your dragon, like, I want another one. I want to get more XP, reset my end. If I've mined all those obsidian pillars, I mean, I want more obsidian. So basically, you will make these. They're super easy to craft. I don't know about this either. But basically, you will get seven glass. 
a gas tier, and a eye of ender. And you'll go into your crafting table, you'll do glass in the upside down cauldron, eye of ender in the center, and a gas tier in the bottom, and you will get the end crystal. Each one of these you can place on obsidian, guys. You can only place it on obsidian, but there is a um, exception. So basically, once you place one of these down, they take down, they take a little bit of space, they take two blocks each direction, so that would be, um, three by three, uh, that's nine blocks. So it's a nine block entity space, they do count as an entity, keep that in mind, and you can basically do what you want with this, so I'm gonna do that, and you can do that, but, just as you saw there, it did a lot of damage, it's like five TNT. That's not exact, but it is close. And then I do this. Oh, it doesn't do any damage. That is right. When you place these on obsidian, they won't do any damage. Wait, what? Okay, this is not right. Hmm. Well, they're not supposed to do much damage. Evidently, they are still doing damage. I don't... This must be a bug, guys. In your regular world, if they are on obsidian, maybe it's the full obsidian. Three, three, three. Let's try that. Yeah, I'm not sure on that, but hopefully, guys, in your world, they will not do any damage. And if you put these in a special formation around your portal, if you have four just around that portal, they will respawn the Ender Dragon. It will not give you a new egg if you kill it, but it will still give you the XP and all that stuff. And your portal will blow up and you will have to kill it. You can't like say, you know what, I don't wanna fight this guy anymore, I'm not ready. You can't do that. It deletes your portal and you have to kill him again if you wanna get it back. So basically that's that. And once you get some end stone, there's a cool new block in this, which I really like. Is I didn't personally really like end stone, but now if you put that in a four by four, you get these cool end stone bricks. And look how awesome they are. I love them, they're so smooth. And they just kind of flow with everything. They're like the stone brick. Lots of the new blocks are based off the stone brick texture. Not the color, texture. But as you can see, they're pretty similar. They're a little more rugged. Only same goes for this. It's I wouldn't it's nowhere near exact, but they kind of went off the same stuff. But moving on from that. You are going to find an end ship, uh, hopefully in your world. And in that end ship, you'll find some books, maybe some things that are going to come up in this video. And on the front of the ship, you are going to find one of these things, a dragon head. And I don't know what the thing they had the store, but it looks pretty amazing in your hand. When you, it looks like an RPG in your hand like this, and it just looks amazing. There is a bug where the snout doesn't count because it's counted as a head. So let's get a regular, what we got, we want a regular head. So like this, um, yeah, they, it counts as a head. So all this is, they count as add-on, it's not really there, but it is. And basically when you run, run around, if you put this on your head, you will get a animation. This is one of the coolest blocks in the game, in my opinion. How can you beat this? I think you can throw protection on it. Don't hold me on that either. I know you can put unbreaking on it only. Who needs an unbreaking skull that will never break? Um, it does not give grant you any protection at all. But yeah, so moving on. If you add any power source to this, this thing would be great for horror maps. Just flick that layer on. This. This is the best thing in the world. Th now this is why I have pork chops. Come on. You want to eat? You want to eat some of this? They really need to add it. So like, I should hook it up to like a hopper or something. That would be a ten out of ten. Like it's eating it all. But yeah, that's that there put that back on we're gonna turn this off it can lag your game a little bit and we have oh. is this just me or is that okay whatever so now there are also some new boats um they were gonna have it as the boat 
you were gonna have to hold both buttons down, kind of like Minecraft Pocket Edition, that boat is taken from Pocket Edition, and I'd say 50% of the stuff added to this game is from the second to newest update in the Pocket Edition of Minecraft. But where, what chest were we in? We were in, huh. Okay, so yeah, we were there. And the crafting recipe for that is you're gonna need six wood, so we're just gonna get that. And you're gonna need one wooden shovel. I'm pretty sure they might have removed this. Don't call me it. Oh, okay, so it used to be this. In snapshots, it used to be this, and it is this in Pocket Edition. Evidently, they removed it, so it's a lot easier to craft this. And these things go faster, it's less buggy, and they can hold two things, which is amazing. You can take your dog for a ride, you can get that villager that's across the lake, and you need him in your villager training center to get in there. And also, there is a new zombie villager. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can get one, guys. Actually, let's get, let's get a villager. I, this is kind of mean, I know. But the new zombie villager texture is amazing. I have to show you. So we're just gonna uh, surround him. Let him die. Let's hope that he... Okay, so there it is. That's the zombie villager tester. It's amazing. I mean, it's kind of gruesome, but I really enjoy it. <laughs> I enjoy it. Yeah. Um, and I don't think they vary upon what they were. I'm not sure. I have not tested it out. We're just going to get some more in here. Oh, I don't want the baby to die. Um, let's see. Let's see if one turns into a... Huh. I'm not sure on that. Well, whatever. I'm pretty sure it's one texture only. We're gonna do slash toggle downfall. Downfall? Okay. Um, so basically, now we're getting into the food. You will find these beetroot seeds in the ships that hopefully I'll show you one, but they are a dungeon in the end. And you will find these beetroot seeds. These are also from the pocket edition of Minecraft. You'll plant these harvest them, you will get beetroot. Beetroot restore half a hunger bar, which is nothing. Only if you put they, them in a formation like this in your crafting table, you will get something pretty cool. It's called beetroot soup. And they do not stack, only they will restore three hunger bars, and I do not want to do that. Well, now I have an inventory full of beetroot. 10 out of 10. So that's that. That's the food. And now you're getting in onto the stuff that you'll probably have, which is the shield. This, they were gonna have like different rankings of shields, like wooden and stuff, but they decided just to have one. So this is one iron and a boat pattern of wood, and then one at the bottom. And this will get you a shield. Now, this is what you're gonna wanna do with one. I deal, dual wield it. Now we're gonna go into this. Now this is kind of evens out combat because of the harness. We're gonna go into game mode zero, and basically if we block with this shield, um, we should. Yeah, you can block. You won't take quite that much damage, and then you can charge. Um, see like that. Now we're gonna go back into game mode one because it's kind of it takes it doesn't take too much damage. As I said, I mean it took a it does kind of wear out, but I mean it's so cheap. Uh, how could you resist? And also in these end ships, you are gonna find an elytra, and there is lots of confusion on this. You think it's an easy thing, but it is not evidently. <laughs> um, so basically, you're gonna go to a high spot in your Minecraft world. You don't need to have anything else. So we're gonna go into game mode. And people get this confused with basically like a glider. You basically just jump up. They think you can just jump off and it'll activate. That is not the case. You jump and then tap space again, and then you get the Elytra. And now I'm sorry that I cannot show you the cool um, effects of it if you have, oh God, oh. Flip, flippity flip. <laughs> um, there is a really cool diving pattern which I will show you here. Um, 
But yeah, if you have a cape, it will turn into like two pieces of your cape. Let's do slash um uh effect Ben Kazel uh, Minecraft healing health boost a thousand a thousand. Um ten ten. What that's not health oh that's no I want healing. Let's see here. Mm. Okay, well that didn't help me at all. Okay, well we're gonna get into something a little bit that we're not supposed to be getting into here, but we're gonna eat that. And that's gonna restore some stuff. We can't eat anything else. Okay, so we're gonna do that again. And look at that. Whoa. And we die. You need feather falling for that. We do have to keep inventory on. Because I knew that would happen. And we were not in game mode. Okay. Slash game mode one. Okay. <laughs> All these zombies after us. Um, yeah, that's the only texture. So, yeah, guys, that's about it for the crafting recipes. Only now we're going to get into how to actually survive. <laughs> this is where you guys probably will want to stay. And there's also one new mob that I will show you soon. So basically, the golden apple has been changed, guys. We're gonna do slash time set thousand slash time set day slash time set day. Gosh. Okay, we're gonna go into game mode. And now the notch apple has been nerfed. It is no longer very overpowered. It does do a few new effects. But it is not. oh okay. well we're getting into the new mob guys. Yay! Um, we're gonna eat the golden apple and show you the new effects. And they give you, um, shoot, oh no. So guys, I got into this little bit too early. Oh no. Okay, so basically, you now, yeah, 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 yeah. You get regeneration two, you get absorption four, you get resistance like normal, and you get fire resistance. So basically, those are the kind of same, except for the absorption is really powerful. And you guys hopefully saw that for a little while. But yeah, um, those guys are super powerful, only uh, you, there is a thing to prevent it. So we went over these course through earlier. These are like what Endermen use. The, the, they're like put the physics what Endermen use in Minecraft. So we're just gonna take you up here. And oh no, shulkers! Oh no, so you just eat one of these and it TPs you to the ground or the nearest block. And you can use these for teleporters, like elevators. Um, you just have to be, they TP you, I think it's a 30 block radius, maybe 32. These do kinda bug out. They will attack each other. Only we can kinda shoot them. You can only shoot them when their shells are open, which is kind of weird. Only we are going to try to, um, shoot, uh, we're gonna die, guys. So basically, there is a new best food. Oh my god, these things are such game mode. One. Okay, we're, uh, oh, look. These things are really annoying, guys. Hopefully you can take them out. You basically just walk up, and you can hit them. And then when they die, they don't drop anything, but they're like dungeon guards, basically. They guard all the dungeons in the end. And yeah. So now we're gonna continue on in the adventure. So basically, you're gonna wanna go into your settings right when you start out your world, and you're going to video and settings. And you will see this attack indicators. Now this is what tells you when to attack and when to do it. So basically, like I'm hitting all this, like I'm spamming this, this is not good anymore. This is what's good. Only, you know, who wants to watch your bottom screen? You'll go into video settings and you will do this. So basically there are a few different spots you can put it. You can hit it in the crosshair, which is basically right here. It's, um, it's kind of hard to point, but where my little plus sign is, you'll see that. And I'll show you when I can attack. And if I spam it, it'll tell me like I'm not doing it right. And it'll tell me that for everything. It shows how quick everything is. And there's basically an attack speed for everything. And there is a new best item in the game. 
it is the axe. Now, it is not, it's like nerfed and not nerfed. So basically, the axe does 9 attack damage if it's diamond. The sword does, let's get the regular sword, it does 7.5. Uh, no, just seven now. Um, so basically, the X does nine more damage, but you're gonna see how slow it is. So basically, it's like a really powerful like door of an X. It slaps them, but it takes a second to recharge. So basically, it's really powerful, but the sword is very quick and agile. So that's kind of the combat down to a quick bit. And also there is another mode which I don't prefer because it's kind of all so hard, but it is the hot bar and it's right there. It's kind of, I like the, it's a cooler um, animation. It's down there, it's like the sword getting hurt thing, the blood drawn. It's like the old strength um, example, but yeah, that's that. And I'm pretty sure that's it guys. I mean, it's a very big new, thing i mean they added so much stuff it took a long time that's why we have been waiting for so long for this we've been expecting it and they have paid in return so basically there is some more things that you will want to know the last few things are if you want these end rods which like look like a unicorn um basically these are end rods they do 15 light which is craziest um a torch, I'm pretty sure does seven. But basically, you can kind of like link these up to make some cool like parkour. They are used in the end dimension if you don't want to craft them. They can go like that. They can go up. They go, they link in lengths of two, but they still look cool. They're, they're like heat lamps, kind of. I would look, say them. But you craft these by basically getting some blaze powder and some popped coarse fruit. There's lots of uses for that coarse fruit, guys. And you will put it like that. And that should be making something, guys. This will make something in your world. I am in a slightly older version. It says 1.9 up there, but it is not. Some of the stuff that is in mine, it will not be in yours. But most of it is. <laughs> so basically, it's going to take some blaze powder, some popped course through. And you are going to get some of these. So, um, hopefully you are in the right version. There are only some versions that you can craft these. It's a little bit buggy, but hopefully they will fix that for later. But that is that. These are, I don't know how, it's, it, like, why this works, but it does. And there are two new enchantments in the update. So basically, there is the mending enchantment, which basically works, guys, as if you were to have anything with mending. You will find these in the dungeons in the end. You will find tons of stuff that already has it on there. Sometimes it will be iron, sometimes diamond. Very highly enchanted. And you will basically find these in the end. And when they are on armor and every item that takes damage, it will repair it every time you gain XP levels. Kind of like a mana usage. So basically these are really good to have. It's overpowered to have it on Neolytra. Because Elytras only have 432 flight duration, and that's not very far. That's 400 blocks. That's like nothing. But yeah, that's a few minutes of flight. And there's also the Frostwalker enchantment, which I think is awesome. Let's get an anvil in here. I am going to show you guys this. Is, oh, I think it's amazing. I am going to leave the rest for you guys because... I don't want to tell you everything. I told you mostly everything, but eh, whatever. So basically, this will not work in running water. You have to find a good old lake. Let's see if we have one. Okay, we do not. We're gonna get some water. And we're just gonna simply kind of make a pool of water here. And they cannot be streams, I, as I just showed you guys. They have to be full water. And basically, I'll go into game mode zero. I have the frost walker, and it turns into this ice. This is not regular ice, it's unharvestable. And it turns into this crack, it gets more cracked, and then it turns back into water. 
So this is like really good for PvP, like I'm running, oh no, a lake, ah, and the other person, it does work like ice, um, but yeah, this does still go very quick if, let's see here, let's try to get, eh, eh, that is not working. Uh, oh, we're in game mode, that's why. <laughs> Sorry about that, I was like wondering. Why does that not work? So basically, this works like that, so you can kind of go faster on there. But yeah, guys, this is gonna wrap it up pretty much for this gameplay and this ultimate survival guide. Hopefully this helped you. I know lots of people have been having some massive questions. Hopefully this answered them. And hopefully you guys all enjoy. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to join Zebra Nation today. I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.